Hello, in this video, we will see how we can install a Laravel project from GitHub to your own system. So this is the project that we are going to install. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, we will need to find a folder where we need to install this. In my case, I am using PAM and I need to install the project inside my Laravel folder. So what I will do is I will first of all do a git bash into this folder. Now I need to clone this project. For cloning this project I will click over here and copy this URL. And now I can give the command git clone and that URL that we copied. Also, we need to give it a name. This name would be the name of the folder. We can give it anything that we want. In my case, I'm going to give it awesome underscore project. So we press enter and it is going to create this folder awesome underscore project inside this folder and there it will have all the, all the code. So if we go inside, we have this folder created which have, which has all the code from this git project. So now what we need to do is we need to install all the dependencies as well as the actual Laravel framework. We can do so using composer install. We press enter and it will install all the dependencies of this project based upon this composer.json file. Now that composer has finished installing all the dependencies, we need to do the same for npm packages as well. We can do so using the command npm install. This will install all the npm packages. While it is installing in the background, let's create the database for our project. I'm going to use phpMyAdmin to create the database. And I'm going to give it a name, uh, let's say Larval underscore test. You can give any name that you want. And now we need to tell Larval to use this particular database. Well, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to open this project using a Visual Studio Code. You can use any editor that you want. Meanwhile, you can see our npm install has finished running. So first of all what we need to do is we see that we do not have this env file in our laravel folder where we will specify the database connection so what we are going to do is we are going to create a copy of this file env.example and create a env file using it I think I need to rename it to env and here we can specify the database name laravel underscore test username and password would be the same and now what we can do is first of all we will need to generate a key we can do that using this command well now that the key has been generated and our env file has been successfully updated another thing that you can do is to create a sim link now this sim link is only required to be created if your project allows user to upload files in case you are not sure 
you can still go ahead with this command php artisan storage link now we are finally ready to run all the migrations and create the database schema for our project we can do so using the command php artisan migrate well this has created all the tables for us now sometimes in order to run a project successfully you will have to populate some of this database tables in order to do that we need to run the seeder we can do so using php artisan db colon seed well it says seeder has run successfully and now we are ready to run our project we can do so using php artisan serve and it says our project is running at this URL and if we open this URL we get the home page we see that our project is running successfully and we are ready to make any changes to it so hope you have enjoyed this video and have a clear idea on how to set up a project on your machine by cloning it from github don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch amazing videos related to laravel thank you